Yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Mystery Russ here, back from MBR Starcast with some more Lively Legends gameplay for you guys today. Today I'm playing as Mad Scientist Ziggs. It's been a while since I last uploaded some Ziggs gameplay, so I thought, why not? He's a funny, funny old chap, and he's probably my favourite mid lane champion. I, am I currently in ranked this season, season four? Even though I haven't really played that much ranked games. I think I've seven or eight and zero with him. I haven't. I know I haven't lost a game. I'm pretty solid with Ziggs. He's a safe mid laner to play because in the team fights you can just sit back, you don't have to overextend, you know, say if you play, say, a Yasu, for example, you have to dive into that team fight and you're going to instantly be focused, whilst with Ziggs, you know, they have to dive on top of you to get to you, and generally by that case, you know, you have your W, you can even blow them away, or you blow yourself away, your E, you slow them down, and you just keep spamming your Q, plus, and then eventually your auto attack damage to be doing more damage because you're passive. And then obviously your ultimate, you can get your, you can get a nice ultimate off, uh, especially if you have some heavy CC like a big Leona stun. You know you're guaranteed to hit your, hit your ultimate. And come late game, your ultimate does a ridiculous amount of damage, especially if they don't have any magic resist. You could easily blow up that AD carry. So we'll see. Um, I'll go over the team in a second. So we'll start off with Doran's ring. It's a nice sort of sensible way to start the game off. We will be against a Yasu today, so we'll see how that plays out. He shouldn't. We shouldn't have. Too much of a problem. Obviously, once he gets on top of me, the damage he probably do is going to be quite sort of high, which might be an issue. But we have a heal, so you know, we'll see. Uh, I, everyone seems to take heal these days instead of barrier, so I'm just following the trend. I haven't really checked the stats to see if it's worthwhile, but it's, all the pros seem to take heal these days. And the thing with Ziggs is, if you take ignite, you can kind of take ignite, but generally you're not in range to do the ignite because you're just relying on your long distance of your Q sort of thing. So. Um, I'm I'm going for the heal, you know. At least give me some movement speed and might give me enough health to s survive a situation. And I like say most likely, well, against Yasu, ignite, you know, could kind of come in handy. But generally, if you're against a ranged champion, you're not going to just be in that range to do it with the Ziggs. So we'll see. We do really just rely around landing my Qs. That's if you don't miss, if you don't land your Qs, then you're just useless as Ziggs. Or well, every move's a skill shot. If you don't land any of your skill shots, you're useless. But it, you really tell the difference. If you start landing your Qs, the damage you do to your opponent really shows. And if you don't land your Qs, then your mana pool's going to really drain out, and it kind of tells because you're not doing any damage to them, and you're making nothing happen. So we have a Shaka Jungle. I'm not a fan of. I'm not really a fan of him at all. Mainly probably because of all the people I see play him are terrible. I used to think he was alright. It all, it all kind of turns down to the player how he has to really make something happen early game. He comes because come mid sort of, or it depends how well his early game goes. If he has a terrible early game, then he's just going to be useless the whole game, especially compared to an Udia. So uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure. We have a Zach. It's the first time I've seen anyone play Zach for a long time. I was a big fan of Zach last season until they kind of nerfed him quite hard, and I've played him since the nerf. And he, I don't know. He just he's not like what he used to be. Um, he just, I don't know, he just takes way too much damage and you don't really get the reward out of it, so. But I did get, once get a pentakill at level like 12 with his Zach. I don't know if I still got the clip on LOL replay. Oh, that was terrible. I don't know why I even chucked that. <laughs> that was really bad by me. Um, so we'll see. Obviously Yasu doesn't have great threat. Oh, that minion. That was a bit annoying. Uh, Yasu doesn't have the uh, greatest all threat until sort of level 6. We don't want to be getting hit by too many of those hurricanes. We don't really want to be taking any real damage we, if we can avoid it. Uh, don't know what. Sh I don't know if Shaco just stole his red or no, he didn't. He already took his red. Unlucky, mate. Unfortunate for him. We're we gonna get. Ah, oh, we did get him in there. I thought I missed it. I was too busy clicking away with the place. Not really doing too much damage from my Q at the moment. I'm not sure because he gets a little shield or something, doesn't he? I'm not sure if that's what's kind of keeping him in the. Uh, game at the moment. Let's see, he's a bit scared to well, every time he goes for a CS, you know, it's a pretty simple Q for me to really land. That's never too good. At least Fresh kind of got the kill, I guess, but it's certainly not ideal. You get the big, I don't know if I'm going to get the big, ah, oh, I didn't get the big one. I didn't think I was. I, uh, auto attack when I shouldn't have done. Oh my god, my game's just minimized. Oh, we should back up and run and somehow I was really lucky. I'm really having some issues with my game at the moment. Um, it keeps minimizing for like no reason. It's really fucking... It really is a fucking annoying. He wasted his ignite, so it's kind of kind of reason why I'm kind of sort of happy just sitting here. I've got some pots. I had to burn my flash. Udia did flash from me and then my fucking game crashed. It's just like, what the fuck? So... Let's see. We're doing alright against him. 
Oh, idiot is getting a bit, uh... Uh... That was a bit of a poor cue by me, to be honest. Should be... Actually be able to... Might kill him here. Depends if Shaco can, uh... Cue behind them. Ah, uh, nice, nice flash right here. At least his flash burn. Oh my god, my game! I should back in. And you're gonna probably keep seeing black screens happen. It's really annoying me. It's been happening to me all today, and I don't understand why. It's fucking leagues. It's not even like I'm playing in window mode. It's just fucking. Uh, it's really retarded. The game just keeps crashing, or not even crashing. It just keeps minimizing. It's really annoying. Like, well, for example, when I was getting chased, then my game fucking just. Crashed me, and luckily uh, I was close enough to the turret because I'd have probably stopped walking. So he just about survived it. Uh, we'll leave it there. I have got no mana to really push it any harder. And that should be about. I oh, know I've got more minions, so we'll push against him. He's here anyway. But we have to back. Uh, so I'm gonna go for the chalice. Thinking with the chalice, obviously I don't really need the magic resist against. Um, him and they have no one AD on their team, but as the Ziggs, you really need mana. It, like your mana, for, the thing with Ziggs, you just want to be spamming your moves all day long. And with the Chalice, it allows me to do that. Obviously, it's not the greatest item against anyone on their team because they are all AD. So I'm gonna have to rush a uh, Seeker's Arm Guard out of this, but it just allows me to have a nice sustain and lane, and I can just sit back and just keep spamming my moves all day long. Farm wise, he's actually out farming me. I think we lost a bit of farm because obviously I took that initial the gank from Udia. Um, but other than that, it's, uh, it's cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any of these fucking minions now. That was really, I think I got like one minion like that. It's really annoying. It's a bit bad. They've changed the way that the uh, move looks there with the W. It has like a little, I guess it has the effect around it so you know with the range, I guess is the way of uh, doing it. So we'll see. Uh, at least Shaco got a kill, which kind of helps him out. I don't know why what Udia was really doing, to be honest. He had no. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. He had no reason to be there. It was just really. Uh, I'm not gonna get the big one, am I? Oh, we did, luckily. Burning some mana, but it's worth burning the mana to get the minions. Uh, I'm gonna drop a ward just here, just so we know what Yas y Yasu's up to. Um, farm wise, I'm gonna be losing a bit, I think, on whole farm battle. Not really much I can do there. They get away, which is cool. We might actually, uh, lovely bomb. Oh, what's up now as well? So, oh, my rain ability is up. We I mean, should be back and running. My, I say my game keeps fucking black screener. So annoying. So annoying. Sure. And again, we should be back and running. This is really getting on my fucking tits. I have to make the game through the long replay and that. Uh, record it out again after the replay. It's fucking annoying. I just like even if it, even if I wasn't recording that, it, it's still fucking so annoying to happen. If he lands his ultimate on me, then we're going to be starting in a bit, bit of a bad situation because his ultimate's going to do quite a bit of damage. So uh, a good roam top, but there's not really too much I don't know if we could do for that. He has his ultimate, I guess. I could just push this wave out and then try and potentially make a roam up there with his ultimate. Zach does have good sort of kill potential. Especially with me there, the CC would be, oh, we're not going to get the big one. Fucking cop up by my own minions there. He's dead. Happy days. So that went quite well. Uh, for what it was. He did kind of catch me out. I thought I cancelled his ultimate. Or stopped him from ultimating when with my W. I thought that was really cool. And then he just still ultimated me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd have been out of the air by that point, but I don't know. I'm not sure how that will kind of work then. But it delayed him a little bit, and we got my heal off, which was the main thing, which sped me up. And he did chuck his mic down, but it's cool. Uh, my game's crashed again. We should be back up and running. I really apologise for all the black screens. That's probably going to happen. It's going to make my uh, make a life really hard for me whilst editing this. But I just there's nothing really I can do. It's just the um, league is uh, giving me some fucking issues. Um, I just don't know what to say about it. It's fucking annoying. It's really annoying for me, and you know, it, it won't be so bad for you because you'll just see little black screens. But it's nothing worse than playing when your game keeps getting 
fucked up by for some reason. I'm gonna buy a ward because I'm a bit worried about the presence of Udia. Um, at least for my trinket plus my norm my ward, I can keep vision of what's going on. Good job, top lane. So Shaco's actually done a good job for once. He's kind of given me some faith in Shaco's. So happy days. So at least that got a kill, which can help him out against Riven. He's out farming him quite hard. His Riven's quite strong against Zack. I have beat Rivens in the past, but in theory, if they're a good Riven, they should really beat Zack. She's just a lot stronger than what he is. Oh, that's never too good. Not really much I can do. I don't have my ultimate, and there's no Caitlyn down there, so there's not really any kill potential about my ultimate. So, uh, we'll just keep it cool. I have my Seeker's Arm Guard now, so it means when he does actually try and go on top of me we should be a lot stronger plus a blue buff we just want to kind of be spamming our abilities a little bit just try and get some cheeky cues off on him where we can and but like I say once you start landing the cues the damage you start doing is really kind of quite noticeable that was quite nice I wonder if I could throw it over that I'm not sure if that would actually work so basically when you drop a ward down as well in mid lane, you really should hug that side, so now I want to just be kind of keeping to the left, uh, the right hand side, because at least I know if Fudia comes I'll be able to see him that way, whilst if I'm hugging the other side I don't know if Fudia will come or what, you know, at least I have a vision of what's going on on that side. I almost walked into that then, that could be a bit bad. Uh, so yeah, it's cool, farm wise we're actually out farming him, so uh, that's cool. I've never played Yasu, it's a champion, well I did it once in ARAM and it wasn't anything special, so i have to give him a, a proper go one day. I'd probably be a fair. You have a really good guess or you have a bad one, I generally find. This one's doing alright for himself. He's not doing anything particularly bad, you know. He's keeping out of sort of range from my cues and all that good stuff. I'm gonna have to flash here, I think. That was a terrible ultimate by me. Really bad ultimate. I was hoping they were gonna overextend a little bit. I could have made a lot, something a lot bigger happen if I had my ultimate a lot better than. But we survived that. I don't know why. Oh shit, that was close. I don't know why he didn't ult me. Surely he could have ulted me at me then. My game's minimized again. We should be back up and running. Fucking hell. Uh, so annoying. At least it's not happening when something too important's happening, I guess. But it's annoying. It's not to say the least. A bot lane. Uh, I have no ultimate to do anything either. I I just have no ultimate, I can't really, by the time I get there, they're realised and you know, there'll be nothing I can really do. And I'll just lose out on farm because I won't make anything happen if I was to go down there. Oh my god, my game's minimised again. Back up and running. It's fucking jokes. Nothing really we can do there, Shaq is just way too low to even be really in his jungle at the moment. And why he's even sort of... Hovering around there. You get me probably killed now because of it. Oh, uh, just about. Deary me. And my game again! Should be back up and running. Fuck me. These black screens, you're probably going to get an electric fit from all the black screens that's going to keep happening. Oh, so fucking annoying. I, can't, I, I don't even know, I really was annoyed with Shaco then, because he almost uh, he almost put me in a position where I was about to die for no reason then. I, I really shouldn't have really went over there to help him, but because Yasu was always going to close the gap like he did on me, which was just uh, it was just wasteful. I didn't know why Shaco was just sitting around with such little HP, and because of it now I lose my mid lane. I had enough, ha I had enough HP and mana just to sit there and sustain through, through all that, but because of um, what happened, I just, you know, fucking shit. Um, good job to uh, Zach for Kid and Riven though, that's nice to see. Potentially I'm going to push this wave and maybe try to make a roam happen. Just to push, because I don't want him to, because uh, he'll be able to, now that turret's gone, he's going to be able to easily push down the uh, mid lane a bit, so. I want to make sure that if he does do that, it's not too much, or well, it'll slow him down anyway. Um, I feel we need to try and make something happen over the board. Say so ultimate's up. Good job. Nothing really can do now. Now that she, he's dead, Caitlyn won't overextend. She's not going to be stupid, so. Shaco coming here? He's coming. I kind of fling myself away from him, which wasn't ideal. He has to. Ah, oh, that was quite a nice flash round. Ah, oh, the cues. The cues. 
That was a nice flash. I think he actually took... I'm not sure if he did take damage from it. It meant that he had to uh, flash him. He couldn't walk backwards, otherwise he walked into it. So, it was GG. That's what we needed. Um, we can actually get Dragon off it as well, so... Whoops, that was a bit of a bad cue. Happy days, so... Yeah, good result overall. With a CS for a level with him, we got the kill. So, yeah, it's alright. He's giving me a good run for my money. You know, It's not been an easy lane at all. I really need to get that sort of uh, needlessly large rod. If I could afford that, would be uh, laughing. Might try and roam up top. I don't really have any mana to do anything to top. Zach doesn't have his ultimate either, so... I have 4 HP, but... No uh, mana. He has his... doesn't have his passive. Uh, dashes away. I probably went in a little bit too early then, but there wasn't really too much I could do as I just don't have the greatest amount of mana pool and no ultimate either. Oh my god, my game's minimized again. Should be back up and running. These fucking black screens are so annoying. Always Zach, I don't know what uh, HP was then, but it seems a bit crazy that he decided to fight her really without his uh, ultimate and uh, no... Um, no flipping theme you. Kind of blinked him towards towards him then. Uh, uh, Warwind still protecting, that was a bit annoying. Uh, I didn't I couldn't see what Riven's HP was. I was trying to check it, but I don't know if she she could be like trying to come down right now, that's the kind of issue I'm thinking about. Uh, we'll try and clear out mid and then potentially go down bot. Now I have blue buff, I can kind of sustain for a bit. I can actually afford my knees to dodge rod as well, but we're just trying to... Uh, didn't dodge it. Oh, oh the fucking dashes. Fuck, who's this shit? He has no ult, so... That's really annoying. There we go, just about. A bit of a sticky, situ sticky situation now, there. We have my heals, so I can just kind of bait that out. Oh, you got me fucking having a draft. Oh, that was a bit annoying. You might I have no ultimate to do anything. So we killed Yasu, we did have to burn my flash for it. Um, I think I might have missed a. Oh, I missed quite a few abilities, didn't I? I missed my E and my W. So he kept fucking confused. I thought he was going to go out through the jungle route and then he didn't and it really confused me and it just kind of fucked me over a little bit. But oh, what's happening to Zach? He's uh, not, really, not even used his ultimate. I don't know what's going on. So Udia just about gets away unfortunately. I probably should have kept my heal for a little bit longer maybe because it debated him out a bit more, I guess. I think as soon as I popped that heal he knew he just had no chance and just ran away. But I just wanted to make sure in case he did some uber damage to me, which he probably wouldn't have done, but better safe than sorry. So, that's cool, we get a kill, puts us up to 2 and 0. CS wise, we're actually the high, or we're about to be the highest. My game's minimized once again, we should be back and running fucking hell. This game would be all so good if it wasn't for that, it's just so annoying. I love Ziggs though, Ziggs is my favorite in Delena, he's just so funny. When he first came out, I used to play him a lot. I was a bigger fan of mid when he first came out with Lux and Ziggs and who else I used to play a lot. I probably should have other channels, I can't think of now. Um, who else was there? Lux and Ziggs. I know I used to play a lot of Zux. There's probably some other ones, I can't really think of who. Anyway, it's not really that important. Um, so. As long as they. Why is Fresh? What the fuck, Fresh? Who's fucking blind is he? What the fuck? I can't believe that. I have my ultimate up, but I'm probably gonna end up missing it now. Did I get her? Ah, oh, shit, hot. Why? Oh, my game's minimized again. I'm back and running. Fucking hell. Uh, why did Fresh even engage? He, he fucking. Oh, my game's minimized again! Give me back up fucking hell. You guys are gonna be having an electric fit. What the fuck? Oh, that was so retarded. Fresh I pinged I pinged twice. God, you couldn't do it even more than that. You gotta be blind to see him fucking coming. He walked through fucking 
three war two wards, three wards even he walked through, and they still didn't even react to it. Or Kate, I think Jinx reacted to it, but Fresh Fresh was the one who engaged, which was just pointless. Why engage? Even if you're gonna kill, well, they didn't even kill Caitlyn, so it was just a pointless fucking engage. Oh my god, I'm not going to fucking get that. Do you even know what's going on? Don't fucking hell. <laughs> making a meal out of this. I'm trying to get the fucking mid quickly, but I'm just making an absolute meal out of it. Um, so yeah, that was just, I have no comment to that. Yasu, I don't know where he's got his kill, did he pick up two, I think he got picked up two kills then, so he's now just instantly got fucking fed for, uh, no reason. And now they're all, he's now on a killing spree. He had no kills before, and now he's now just somehow got onto some fucking killing spree because of everybody. Fucking team. No comment. I just fucking, it just annoys me so much, stuff like that, how... Before we were just nice and nicely in the lead, or I was anyway. Now he's just suddenly got fed for no reason. Especially that bottom, the whole thing what just happened bottom was just retarded. There was no reason for them to engage. I think Jinx wasn't committed to it either because she she obviously saw him. So if it was just fresh, literally trying to go ham on Caitlyn on his own, which was just never gonna fucking work. Oh, my game's minimized again. Oh. Fuck's sake. Oh, my God. Literally at the worst possible time when game minimized there. And there goes my flawless game. I completely blame that on it. There's always got to be some excuse, ain't there? What the hell was Shaka even down there? What the fuck? There always has to be. I should have fucking zonied as well. I was too busy raging that my game just fucking minimized. There's got to be some excuse, but that is my excuse that my game didn't minimize then. And there's nothing I can do. The thing was, I took damage, I wouldn't, you know, Caitlyn's ultimate would always kill me, that is, or well, bar if I'd zonied, to be honest. Um, or I could have flashed into Shaco, potentially. But I was just too busy raging that my game fucking crashed like that. And so I don't understand what it's doing, it's fucking so annoying. That fresh, I so want him, but I'm not going to be able to make it happen. No vision on him now, he could be anywhere. My, I don't know, it'd have to take me quite a while to get in range to do anything. Um... I don't know what to say. This game. I mean, lost my flawless game because of that. It was all going so well. It was so sweet. I mean, we do have a nice sort of team. Or I'm just not a fan of Shaco. He's he's just going to become Udio. I think is going to become a lot more effective than what he is. So Riven is fucking on fire now. Riven's now to the point where she's fed and scary. So um, it's going to be really hard to sort of deal with her. Unfortunately, I'm in I'm in a good position, but uh, now Yasu suddenly got he was uh, he had no kills in my whole lane, zero fucking kills, and now he's just suddenly got fucking fed. And Riven's just going fucking ham in the old fucking bot lane. Oh my god, what the fuck? Um, so yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just all completely gone to pot now, literally. This black screen is winding me up that the fact my game crashes every time I click somewhere. I just I don't understand why uh, why it does it. I had it in the past, I think just before I went to Thailand it was happening to me a bit. I just couldn't understand why. So annoying. Um and really it's them on now they control the game. They control the pace of the game. We just really have to sit back and let them try and do something. I don't know what happened. Sax been out farmed by almost double uh, his CS, which is not good. He was doing alright, I thought he was right, and then he just probably got too greedy and he died twice during like the space of like three minutes, which were probably two unneeded deaths that we, which should have never happened. Because of that, it really kind of has now allowed her to snowball. It's a good snut shutdown to get though. It's important that Jinx gets the kill because she's going to be important for us to win this if she gets fed. Wait. Oh god, that was a nice hit. Very nice hook. I can kill anyone I can at the moment. Couldn't really do anything more than that. It was a good hook by Fresh. And I threw down everything, but... Unfortunately, we were just outnumbered. Just me and Zach was not really going to be able to do too much. But it's not good. Run away, Shaco. Don't be fucking greedy. Don't be greedy and fucking die. 
Like me, I'm backing. I can't do anything. I'd rather go mid. Jinx should potentially get it. Maybe. Uh, that was a bit of. Oh, the fucking hook. I was about to say, it was a poor W by her, but that was a hook of a lifetime by uh, Fresh. We'll go mid as well, get that. So, yeah, good job. That was what we kind of needed. They kind of did overextend, and then they only got the one kill. They did get the turret, but for four of them to die for the, just for the sake of the turret, it wasn't really worth it. So. Uh, we did a lot of damage, but I just couldn't do anything more than what I did do. And I had to pull back quite a bit, so I wasn't really in the greatest place to get most out of Zack's ultimate. And just like that, they just... Well, I don't know. Jinx is now unstoppable, which is good, but Riven just got another two kills, because again, they just overextended. But, I don't know. At least Jinx is getting fed. That's one good thing, I guess you could say, about this whole situation. Because with her being fed, it's going to cause them some issues, as long as she survives. But, to be honest, th I just... Shaco now is starting, he hasn't made a big enough impact, I think he's going to start to come to the point where he's just going to become sort of ineffective, he's not going to be as effective as like what Udi is really going to be, in my opinion. And my game's minimised once again, should we be surprised, and we're back up and running. He's black, it's just going to be black, it's going to take me so long to edit this game, it's going to take me longer to edit this game than it is to play the thing. Ah, uh, the rage, I could fucking cause my, I kind of lost my flaw this game as well because of it. 100% to blame. So annoying. Normally it's me doing something stupid, but I couldn't really control the fact that my game just like randomly crashes for just no reason. It's just, I don't know. It was all fine earlier today, and now for some reason it's going to ham on me. It's happened the last two, three games I think I've played. It's just happened. So, I don't know. Um. And they can, because of how sort of leader they control our jungle, like the fact they've taken on a, I haven't had a blue buff for a while. Cause, oh no, I actually did get the last blue buff. They took one, they did steal one, though, I think. Or did they? I can't remember. Maybe I did get them all. I, I'm confusing myself. I did get, actually get one, yeah. I don't know. It's just Riven. Riven's going to be such a problem. 9 to 4. Once she jives in, she's going to go really crazy. At least I have my Zonias. Let's just hope that I remember to use it. Cause I always forget about my actives, so. We'll see. It all, it all really depends around Fresh getting a nice hook. Fresh gets a solid hook on someone, and then Zack gets the ultimate off. If they do that, if they can get that off, then we, we could be laughing. But it's all about getting that right sort of uh, combo off. And really, we're doing nothing here. We shouldn't be the people aggressing. Well, we're not really going to achieve anything. When there's nothing really to achieve. We have no minion waves going for us either, so we're really just in a bad situation. We don't have the ward. Well, what the fuck was Fresh doing over there? Really kind of uh, caught out. Zach's going all balls deep on his own. There's no one in position. I don't know how fresh was over where he was. He like, I'm not sure if he like tried hooking onto someone or what. I really don't understand how he was in that position. Like about actually getting away. We just don't have really had the ward coverage. I just don't understand why fresh. I don't. I really don't know how fresh we got there. That's it was a really uh, silly thing. That I just don't understand. Now that's a free baron for them really. Unless, yeah, Zach's put his ultimate, so... And the thing what will probably happen is Riven will just split push now. Instead. Or we'll just come from behind us and kill us. One of the two. Oh yeah, she's gonna come from behind us. But we can't, or well, we can't really let them just get Baron for free, to be honest. Nice. Oh, was that the steal? Uh, I thought I got the steal on Baron. I'd have been so much. I'd have rather had the steal on Baron than the double kill, to be honest. But I'm hoping we can push something. It was, it was a bit unfortunate. If we were a little bit quicker, then maybe we could have actually have stopped them. But there we go. We if we can get a turret off this now, it'd be two turrets potentially. Riven won't be able to do anything from behind us. So, but yeah, it was really bad then because what happened? We just split. Zach went and ultimated them all, and you know he could have sure got a good ultimate off, but. I couldn't position myself anywhere I wanted to because Udi was just there. And why Fresh was where he was in the first place, I, I never know. I n never understand why Fresh was... Uh, I just can't understand why he was there. He must have hooked them or something, it was just retarded. So sure they get Baron, I think two members have got Baron, but we, we'll get the Dragon and to be honest they're in a position where they can kind of take the Baron. It was, it was unfortunate, we almost did kind of get it, but... Um, there you go. We're pulling it back. I can only, oh, I can afford my Nisi Large Rod now. Before I was about to buy a Blast and one, but I'm now at the point where I can get a Nisi Large Rod, so that's huge. It's really huge. Just gotta be careful. Just gotta group up now and not get caught and do anything stupid. So, 
Um, uh, pick up a. Oh, I'm gonna go for my death cap. I think. I get some pots. I could afford a blast and one, but at least with the pots, I think I have a bit more sustain in the fight. If I get poked down a little bit low, it doesn't mean I have to run away. So we'll see. Um, we're doing alright. I'm just annoyed I lost my flawless game like I did. I'm waiting for a black screen to come and really fuck me over. Uh, CS wise, we're looking pretty good. Thing is, the farm slows down a lot now because of the fact we can't really like overextend too far because we'll just get fucked up by them. Especially Riven. If Riven catches me in any position, I'm dead. And same with Yasu. Like, Yasu's got four kills. He never killed me once in there. It was because he went down bottom and got that room and then went up top. Oh no, went up here when they. I don't know why they were there either. It was just all silly stuff like that, which makes a difference. Uh, so, the most important people have Baron still. Flipping Caitlyn and. Uh, Riven, but there you go. You do. So we'll see, but I think the longer the game goes on, I think the fact that they have, uh, we have Shaco is going to hurt us, in my opinion. But we do have Zack, and I'm a big fan of Zack. Zack can really change a game, a uh, team fight around. If he gets a sick ultimate onto Riven or Caitlyn, uh, or Yasuo actually, they've got quite a, big, a couple of threats, then, you know, we could be talking, but we'll see. It all depends. And as long as we don't get hooked, we get well, I've got all my summoners up, so if I do kind of get caught out, I can kind of try and escape, but we can't get four to get hooked, and fresh on our team needs to make a sick hook. Like there, I just got caught, I've had to waste my zonias already. You can get a nice ult off there though. You know what the fuck's going on. I mean, they didn't have actually have Yasu with them, which is one kind of good thing. We actually just fucked them up. Which is a really good job. Lydia got... Uh, I don't know how Lydia got away. Don't know really what happened then. <laughs> I was just saying that you couldn't afford to get hooked and it was me then that got hooked. Not really any comment about that. I got fucked up. I got hooked and that was GG. Um, but, you know, because of the, because I did get hooked, Fresh went real ham on me to go try and get that kill then and I was able to Zonias which kind of baited them into everything which actually in the end really... Uh, that's what really actually uh, ended up given us the advantage because they went balls deep for me and I only had to burn the summon to heal just to be better safe than sorry really need to be going for fucking Yasu all of his is fucking us up oh. it's fucked, so fucked, so fucked don't even know why I flashed to be honest, I'm so dead shouldn't have flashed Shouldn't have flash. It was a waste of flash. I'd been better off keeping flash for a different situation. We just overextended. I didn't really check their death timers, and they just got up way too quick for us. And unfortunately, this could be actually really bad. They might. Um, we don't really want to lose that turret, but now they're now they're all washed up, and there's none of us up to do anything. So yeah, they're going to get the inhib turret now, which is a real shame. It was. A, we shouldn't have really gone for the inhib. We should have just backed a lot sooner. And, yeah, GG. They might even get. They probably get two turrets off of this actually, which is fair play to them. It could actually have just thrown the game then that uh, whole little thing there. We gained nothing from it either. That was the worst thing. We didn't even get the super minions. So they've got two turrets now, and they're most likely to get double super minions. So it's not good. That was not what we wanted. It's gonna put us in a lot of a big issue. At least I have my death cap now. My power is gonna really kind of surge. I need to get my void staff, but. That's going to help, but now they've got those double inhibs, it's going to kind of make uh, life a bit harder for us. It was that wall what cocked everything up when we were at the inhib. I think I'd have done a lot more, but that wall just fucked everything up. See, my ult, now my ult's just doing huge damage. I got my fucking deck out. This is why I love Zig, it's just so OP. So OP, so strong. You got great clear rate. Once you, if you land your skill shots, the damage you do is just insane, but. Now they've got uh, those inhibs open, it's going to cause us a bit of an issue. We failed that last time, we don't think we're going to achieve it again. It's not going to happen. I just need to really farm up and get my void staff, that's about the most I can really hope for. Try and get blue buff if it's there, fingers crossed. I could really do with a blue buff right now. Once Fresh doesn't get caught, I think he could well be dead. Finally, a blue buff. A blue is so important for my sustain plus the cooldown I get from it. I think he's got away. Good job. 
You can't afford to have random deaths anymore now. This this is the point in the game where it's really uh, important for everyone to play their best and not get caught and try and catch the enemy because it's what's going to turn it around. And Baron's up in I believe Baron's up in a minute. So we need to really kind of get ready for that. I could buy a blast and one, but I'm going to keep my pots handy just because I think they're important to have. I'm a bit annoyed I wasted my flash as well because my flash would still be up now, and if anything happened, I've at least got that. I've got my summoner heal, and I've still got my zonias, but yeah. So Riven is bot, which kind of gives us an advantage at Baron. No, that she is bot. Could rush it if we see her again. They could go for dragon. I reckon we just rush it to be honest. Even they know we're here. We either rush it. What have we got to lose really? Probably everyone dying and fucking them getting barren. But what can you do? Eh? Depends how quickly we get. We just get it now. I'm back. It's happy days. We need to be careful because we're split now. That's the problem. We're just split from the fucking team. It's really bad. Whoa, that wasn't without my ult, where the fuck did that damage, I think that was Jinx's ult. Where that fucking damage just come from? We need to go back to base actually. Base is getting fucked up. Well maybe not, maybe it's not. There was a lot more red there a second ago. We need to push to be honest. Um, oh yeah, I don't really know what happened there, I was cut out of the fight a lot. I had I had to sit back, well the thing is if I didn't sit back I would have got fucked up by Udi or Riven, so I had to kind of do what I did and I wanted to sit, I had to stay protect Jinx, I was trying to scare them off from Jinx, because if Jinx died then it was GG, but somehow they, you know, they, they did a good job, we get Baron, we get the inhib now, and most likely I imagine Dragon to be taken, but um, yeah it was good, 8-2 to two, looking pretty strong. Careful of uh, taking these. I want to be greedy. It's not worth it for the sake of a uh, little wolf count. It's probably not worth it just for the sake of a deer. That's why I wasn't too. I'm pretty sure a dragon. I would imagine Riven here. Riven would have took it when she was bot lane. Uh, so yeah, the inhibs are going to respawn now. We have Baron for about a minute and a half. Um, I can afford my Void Staff as well now. So. And start to get rid of the pots, and then we only need one more item, and then we're going to be in a good situation. Ultimate cooldown, 60 seconds, fucking OP. It's a thousand damage, plus when I get my void staff, it's going to mean that it's pretty much almost guaranteed. Or it's not fully, but it's going to do a, it's going to do a hell of a lot. Um, so yeah, we're looking good. All I had to do is survive, and one death was because the screen fucked up and my second death was because we just overextended and you know gas who got me but every team fight I've, I've played safe and lived and that's made the difference completely and same as Jinx. Jinx and me surviving is the only way we win this and Zack has to get the perfect ultimate off and a decent fresh hook. If fresh can pick someone off then we're laughing so we'll see we just need to group up and do something we need to make the most out of having Baron really we don't, then we're just gonna—it's just gonna kind of go to waste. We have Baron, we got a nice advantage. So should we just do something with it? I mean, there's no point really being mid. There's nothing to be achieved mid. Otherwise, Zach's there on his own. We need to group up. Like Zach's just on fucking mid in his own for no fucking reason, and he's probably dead now. But why? What did he achieve being mid? Ah, oh, dying. Or oh, yeah, he's dead. Wow. It's just put us in a bad situation though, there's no reason for him to fucking be there. Oh, it's just fucking retarded. Ah, oh, here's Riven. This is not good. Why can't I Zonyas? What the fuck? Oh my god. I blame Zack fully for what would just happen there. I don't understand why he wasn't with us. Even though it was it was just uh, I can't believe I didn't Zonya. I think if I Zonya to be honest, after I Zonya what I, what could I do? But um I was spamming my one so much. I couldn't mean nothing nothing could have silenced me, so I don't understand why it didn't go off. We've probably lost the game now. I don't understand why Zack was mid lane. There was no reason for him to be mid lane. 
100% and yeah we've lost this now. Oh, I can't believe that. It's so annoying. Well, maybe not. They haven't got the minions actually. They might probably get one turret maybe. I just don't understand. I really just don't. Oh, they're actually backing off. We're lucky. We're really lucky that all we've lost is the inhibs because we can wait for them to respawn. As a team, we win this. 100%. We win this. A decent Zack ultimate with my ultimate is GG. But the problem was there was Zack was instantly took it, taken out of that fight. Instantly. He was useless to us that whole time in that situation. He was instantly taken out of the fight, which made him just worthless to us. Well, <laughs> it made him absolutely worthless to us. So we, we now have no tank, and you know we put a nice amount of damage down, but we just don't have that. Z <coughs> Excuse me, we don't have that Zack ultimate in the mix of them all, and it made a big fucking difference. It made a huge difference. There was no reason for him to be mid. It was just retarded. It was absolutely retarded. And this really annoyed me. Like, it's just such a waste. You gotta be really careful here, because Caitlyn's not even being fucking focused. Get the inhib at least. We actually have uh, minion waves going for us. But I don't think it's really worthwhile. We their super minions are gonna be coming on our base quite heavy. But at least we got the inhib again and we made a pick. Well two one pick, yeah. Who died? Fresh did die, but you know. Um What to go for next? That's the question. I'm gonna sell my dorange now. I might go for the lynch ping, because it's gonna prop my attack down uh, Maybe. I think it's been nerfed a little bit, supposedly. It would be quite out of fuck it. I don't know what else to go for, to be honest. I could go for a Rileys, but at the end of the day, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. The only other option is a Deathfire Graphs, which wouldn't have been terrible, to be honest. A Deathfire would be alright, I guess. It wouldn't be the end of the world. It would give me the cooldown as well, which would be pretty nice. I'm only at 25, I think I'm only about 25% cooldown, so... Death Fire potentially could be an, an item to actually go for, maybe. Um, I don't know, we just need one decent Zack ultimate and a fresh hook and it's GG. That's all we need. And to defend now. But the potentially though, they're going to be the ones who take Baron. I can't believe that pink ward, I'm pretty sure that's the pink ward which we did Baron on. I think a, a lot's going to come down to here with this Baron fight now, to be honest. When it eventually spawns, it can't be far away from spawning. So we'll see, I don't know. We kind of threw we threw a lot, to be honest. We threw a lot of our lead away, or not necessarily, I don't think we're in the lead, but we threw a... You no, know, I think we are stronger, but we threw a lot away when uh, Zack was in the mid lane for no reason. There was no reason for him to be in that mid lane, 100%. I don't know if we're just going to go for the burst. That's a bit risky, because they're coming. They're just trying to blur up, that's the thing. Pretty poor. Uh, we did actually hit Caitlyn, but it wasn't the uh, greatest one. We do have got Baron, but we've got to sit back and just protect Jinx. Not overextend for no reason. Just focus who we can. Caitlyn's obviously the ideal target, but you get who you can in these situations. Ah, oh, I walked in that trap, that's what I was trying to avoid. Oh, I was about to try and chase Caitlyn, I just realised Riven was alive. I'm kind of glad I wasn't going. Ham after her now. Oh shit. Oh, uh, Yasu's here as fucking hell. This is not good. It's not good, it's not good, it's not good. I think we're about to survive. I think Fresh might be. Oh, I shouldn't even turn around back then. I don't know why I just turn around like that. 